Hello and welcome back to the Polykit channel. In this video I look into repairing a broken digital sequencer from the early 80s. The MFB 601. MFB was a Berlin based company and stands for Manfred Fricke Berlin. He started producing entry level music gear in the late 70s and the analog drum machines MFB 301 and MFB 501 were quite popular and affordable at the time. The 501 was sold even more often than the TR-808 at some stores here in Germany. The MFB-601 digital sequencer came out at the same time as the MFB-501 drum machine and they could be combined by triggering each other. In more recent years, MFB produced various drum machines, sequencers and synthesizers. Sadly, Manfred Fricke died a few years ago and it seems the company ceased existence. The MFB 601 cost a whopping 495 Deutschmarks, which was a little fortune at the time. It has 8 banks to store sequences. Each bank can save up to 64 steps. It has CV with 1 volts per octave output, gate outputs, trigger in and outputs and can be started externally. Note lengths and tempo can be adjusted. It is possible to switch between three different octaves. I got this unit in a broken state, so let's open it up and take a look inside. It seems the memory battery leaked and destroyed a few components. Luckily, the previous owner removed the battery to prevent further destruction. Also the traces on the PCB seem to be intact. I already had some replacement parts in stock for the destroyed transistors and resistors. To store sequences when the device is poured off, I added a 3 volts coin cell. The previous installed battery was chargeable, so I replaced the current limiting resistor with a diode to prevent charging of the new battery. I also happen to own a MFP501 drum machine. Let's hook both units up and program a sequence into it.
I am quite satisfied with the outcome of the repair. The unit is now fully functional again. Berlin here in Germany is my hometown where I grew up and I'm very fond of MFB and its history. It's hard to imagine the difficulties to start a company at the time in Western Berlin when the wall was still in place. MFP always showed great engineering finesse, craftsmanship and pragmatism, which is quite appealing to me. I hope I can get my hand on more instruments made by Manfred Frick. Alright, that's all for today. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time and bye for now.